So thank you very much for uh, joining us today. Winning a Nobel Prize, that's quite an achievement, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's a great, a great prize, a great honor for me. Basically, uh, I invented the high brightness, high efficient blue LEDs in 93. And uh, using uh, high efficient uh, blue LEDs, uh, my former company could uh, make white LEDs. So white LED can be used for all kinds of lighting source, you know, and uh, also all kinds of display, everything, you know. So uh, that is the reason why I received Nobel Prize. And what have you continued to, to work on since then? How has that work developed? Uh, after that, uh, still, uh, we continue to improve the efficiency of uh, blue LEDs, uh, so that as we use the quantum well structure. So basically, uh, the Nobel Prize gave the uh, uh, blue LED, high efficient blue LED, which is invented in 1993. That one is actively is, is uh, just a double header structure, right. not a quantum wave structure. So in 1995, we developed a quantum wave structure, high efficient blue LEDs. Also in 1995, also we invented the first uh, violet laser diode, which, which could be used for the blue ray DVD. Right. So now that's the reason why now blue ray DVD are better, because we invented the first uh, uh, violet laser diode. What? Uh what got you into inventing these things in the first place? What what fascinate? What what made you interested in this work? Oh, because I expected solid state lighting is the ultimate uh, lighting source. So in that case, at the time, I thought the LED is uh, ultimate solid state lighting. So at the time, missing color is blue LEDs. So blue LED available, uh, all three primary color LED available. So it means we can make all kind any kind of colors. Uh, like now, LED TV is available, but you know, the same thing. So that is why I, you know, started the blue LED research. You know, that's my dream too. Yeah. So, what advice would you give to? I mean, this meeting is full of young, young people. What advice would you give to young physicists who, uh, who would want to do what you've done? Oh, because when I started blue LEDs in '89, uh, there are two kind of material materials available. Uh, zinc selenide based material and the gallium nitride based materials. At the time, a lot of scientists selected zinc selenide, uh, not the gallium nitride. Gallium nitride based material, only few, few uh, people selected the uh, gallium nitride based materials because uh, gallium nitride uh, materials are very crystal quality, it's very crappy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but uh, I, you know, desperately selected the gallium nitride and uh, so means that I took a risk, you know. It's, I think research is almost like a gambling, you know. If you take a risk, you know, it, it's very, the uh, possibility of a success is very small, but uh, if you succeed, it, it will be a big breakthrough, you know. That's a very important, to take a risk, you know. Take a risk and work hard. For about a research subject. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, thank you very much indeed for talking to us today. We very much appreciate it. Uh, many congratulations and, and, and good luck for the future. Thank okay. you. Thank you.